Hello and welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Mike Jonas here at London's Leicester Square for day five of Film 4's Fright Fest 2015. First of all, can you tell me a little bit uh, how you become involved with the project? Well, I know Paul Hyatt from doing the Descent, Descent and Descent Part 2. He did all the special effects, makeups for the crawlers, he made up the, the creatures. So I've done two films with him, but not as you know an actress-director relationship. He told me he was going to send me this script and I read it and instantly I was like, I have to be part of this film. I've, I've been sent quite a lot of horror films in my time and I will only do them if it's a really good character with a journey and there's lots of um, great characterization and complex emotions going on and in this script you get that but also you get all the comedy you need for a good horror and all the gore you need for a good horror and all the suspense so for me reading the script was a joy and and working with Paul it's only his second feature I mean you would have thought he's, he'd done 10 before he's just so brilliant over the years we've obviously seen very many uh, werewolf related films uh, so what do you think is going to make this stand out a lot more from the from the others in the past I don't think you've seen one when we're all stuck in a train. I think that's number one. Um, a group of strangers all battling out to survive is another one. But really, we've kind of seen, if you break down horrors, we've kind of seen them all. You know, with the slasher, we've got it. You know, the descent, even there was a cave um, movie that was fairly similar, but it's all about the characters and believing in the characters and believing in their stories and I think with Howell you get that and you really want them to survive because they're played it's played like a drama so therefore you really believe in them and you invest in them so when these things start going wrong you just feel utterly devastated and that's why I think this movie is going to be great but, yeah, yeah, more than, more than enough, thank you very much. Um, obviously, we're at Fright Fest, and it's, it's one of the biggest horror events in the UK. Uh, what does it mean to have the film shown here? Well, Fright Fest means a lot to me because of the, the descents, and it's just such a great audience, and everybody is so always so welcoming and excited about the films that they see, or the films, certainly, that I've um, brought to them. And I think to be part of this Fright Fest is just an honour, really in the movie world, not just the horror world. It's just that I've got so many um, horror fans that are very loyal and um, I just love coming to events like this where I can appear and just sort of give it back and say actually thank you so much because without all of these fans we wouldn't be able to make these films. For those of them at home that aren't fully aware of this, uh, can you tell me a little bit about the film please? Yeah, basically it's about a ragtag bunch of passengers that are on the last train out from a London Waterloo station. And just when they thought, you know, we've got this horrible train, it's the most horrible journey, they break down and they think, what could go worse? And then they get attacked by werewolves. And that kind of runs with a parallel story about the core of our film, which is about Joe, a ticket collector. And he's kind of like a downtrodden sort of guy down his luck. And during the night he has to you know, step up, put this band of passengers back together and help them survive till morning. Um, obviously, this is the second film now that you've been teamed up with uh, Rosie Day uh, yes. from The Seasoning House, which was excellent, by the way. Thank you. Um, can you tell me what it's like to work with Rosie again? It's always lovely to work with Rosie. Um, she, she brings so much to her character. She comes up with loads of ideas and she's a genuine joy and great at her craft. I was lucky to get her and Sean Pertwee from Season House again, you know, he came along and done a little part for me as well. But you know, you, you have a bunch of actors that you can rely on that bring so much dedication to their craft and it was a pleasure to have her back. Now, as I just mentioned, this is uh, this is your second film uh, and obviously the Seasoning House was previously at Fright Fest a couple of years ago. Uh, what does it actually mean to have your second film back at Fright Fest again? It's kind of like coming back home. Um, you know, th a few years ago, Season House's opening film was a huge honour, and I'd been part of Fright Fest for many years with you know my career, my prosthetics. I used to come and watch all my movies there, and sometimes come on stage. So Fright Fest always is kind of very special to me. So yeah, it was kind of like a family feel to me. And finally, um, everyone loves the horror genre, me included. Uh, what do you think it is about the the concept that really drives people wild for it? I think it's escapism. I think it's being an ordinary person pushing into extraordinary circumstances. 
I think there's something amazing about you know being taken on that journey and going through the emotional ups and downs that none of the other genres do to you. I think you could be thrilled, frightened, emotional, you really feel for characters. I think that's, I think it's a, you know, the biggest form of escapism, I feel.